Welcome to Lawn Tips with Lou. We're just past mid-February and the spring mowing season will soon be here. I'm not sure if you can see this, but right here there's a little sprig of green Bermuda starting to pop through and uh, another piece right there. But it's too early to scalp the lawn yet. If you did not put down a pre-emergent weed control over the winter, you may want to put a pre-emergent on your lawn now so that the pre-emergent chemicals can be watered into the soil before you do your spring scalping on your Bermuda lawn. For those of you who have watched my prior videos, you may already be familiar with the pre-emergent regimen that I follow each year. I've had a lot of success with my Bermuda lawn using BioAdvanced 3-in-1 weed and feed, which I apply to my lawn during March and September of each year. BioAdvanced 3-in-1 uh, contains fertilizer as well as both pre-emergent and post-emergent weed control chemicals. In addition to the March and September pre-emergent application, I also put down a winter pre-emergent application during either late December or early January. The reason I put down the winter application of a pre-emergent is because pre-emergent chemicals break down over time. To control the emergence of weeds over the winter months, I make an additional pre-emergent application during the winter using either a granular application or a spray application of, a, of an alternate pre-emergent other than the BioAdvanced 3-in-1. If you are planning to scalp your Bermuda lawn over the next week or two, then I would recommend putting the pre-emergent on your lawn after you scalp it. You do not want to risk mowing up the pre-emergent chemicals uh, with all the dormant grass before it has had a chance to be absorbed into the soil. The way most pre-emergent weed chemicals work is they stop new cells from developing in plants once the seeds have germinated. The pre-emergents don't stop weeds from germinating. The pre-emergent chemicals in the top layer of the soil inhibit the growth of new plant cells, which causes the plants to die. This is why you want to allow time for the pre-emergent to be absorbed into the soil before scalping the lawn. The BioAdvanced 3-in-1 that I use is on sale at a reduced clearance price at Home Depot. This is because this spring they have an updated product. This year a new product also includes insect control. If you look carefully at the packaging you'll notice one other significant difference. The old product had coverage of 5,000 and 10,000 square feet depending on the package size. The new product with the added insect control only has coverage of 4,000 and 8,000 square feet. You need to be aware of this difference and take it into consideration based on the size of your lawn. To help prepare for this year's mowing season, I thought I would go back and look at the 2023 mowing season in review. To prepare for the 2024 mowing season, the 2023 season can act as a guide for the upcoming year. With the 2024 mowing season fast approaching, make sure your equipment is ready for the season. Make sure to clean the spark plugs. Clean the air filters on your mowers and your trimmers. Sharpen the blades to the mowers. The, <clears throat> sharpen the rotary mower blade. And if you use a reel mower, then back lap the blades and align the reel to the bed knife for proper cutting. Check the blade on your edger and replace the blade if necessary. Change the oil on all your gas-powered equipment. 
Some new gas-powered mowers come advertised that you never need to change the oil. My recommendation is to ignore that. Change the oil regularly and the equipment will last a long time. Even though the new mowers may not have an oil drain plug, use an oil drain vacuum pump to suck the old oil out of the engine. When you see how black and dirty the old oil is, you'll quickly realize how the fresh new oil will preserve the life of the mower engine. I will scalp my lawn during the second or third week of March, when the sprigs of new Bermuda growth begin to emerge from the dormant lawn. Even though there are signs of the new growth now, it is too soon for me to scalp my lawn. But there will be there, those of you who will want to start mowing sooner, and that's okay. Because scalping the dormant Bermuda is such a dirty job, I like to wear a mask, safety glasses, and ear protection to keep the dust out of my ears, eyes, and lungs. In the past, if I didn't wear this protection, I'd be heavily congested and feel like I had a cold or the flu simply because of all the dust I had inhaled. For the past two seasons, prior to scalping my lawn, I replaced the mower blade with a dethatching blade to cut through the dormant, matted down Bermuda from the prior year. The dethatching blade loosened up the matted down grass and broke up much of the dormant Bermuda so that when I put the mower blade back on, I was able to adjust the mower deck to its lowest setting and bag the dormant grass without the mower bogging down trying to cut through the matted down Bermuda. The lowest setting on my rotary mower cuts the grass at one inch. After scalping the lawn with my rotary mower, I use my power reel mower to cut the grass down to about three-eighths of an inch. After scalping the lawn down to three-eighths of an inch, I apply the BioAdvanced 3-in-1 fertilizer with post and pre-emergent weed control. Follow the directions on the label for obtaining the best results, and bear in mind the pre-emergent needs to be watered into the soil for it to be effective. If you watch other lawn care videos, you may have heard other people recommending a follow-up pre-emergent application four weeks after the initial pre-emergent application. I actually think this is a good idea for a variety of reasons. In the spring, we can have heavy downpours which can wash some of the chemicals away. Pre-emergents break down over time and weeds do not germinate at the same time. After the spring scalping, clean the air filter on the mower again. I've found that the air filter is dirtier after the spring scalp than it gets after the remainder of the mowing season. To keep your equipment running smoothly for the season, be sure to clean the air filter again when you finish scalping the lawn. Through the mowing season, fertilize the lawn regularly each month. Bermuda lawns take a fertilizer with either a 3 to 1 or a 4 to 1 ratio of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Through the spring and summer months, I use a fertilizer with a 3 to 1 ratio that I buy from a local nursery that has their fertilizer formulated for this area of Texas. If you have dogs, as the lawn greens up in the spring, you may find spots from pee damage in the lawn. Last year, in addition to my two dogs, I also had my daughter's two dogs staying with us. With four dogs, I had a lot of pee damage spots, including one very large damaged area just off the patio. Bermuda is a very forgiving grass and recovers fairly well on its own over time. As you can see, most of the smaller spots were recovering nicely on their own, but the area just off the patio needed to be replaced. 
I tilled up the soil and put down new sod. For whatever reason, when I looked for sod last spring, I had to call four or five sod retailers before I found one that had sod in stock. What they had was not the best quality of Bermuda, but after a few weeks, the new grass had blended in well with the rest of the lawn. Another product I tried last year was a soil supplement from Callaway's Nursery. It's a coffee grounds based soil supplement that adds beneficial bacteria and fungi to the soil. I applied this during April last year and this year I've already put down an application. I plan to put down another application during April of this spring and again during the fall. With the amount of dog pee damage in my lawn last year, I do believe the soil supplement helped the lawn recover as well as it did last year. Last summer, we had a very hot summer with almost no rain. I continued to fertilize my lawn each month, but because of the heat and the dry weather, I scaled back on the amount of fertilizer I put down. By September, the weather began to cool down. As the days were getting shorter, the Bermuda growth began to slow down. During September, I again put down the application of the BioAdvanced 3-in-1. During the fall, a number of winter weeds will begin to germinate. This includes Poa annua, also known as annual bluegrass, which seems to pop up during the fall, winter, and early spring months. To keep ahead of the poa annua and other fall and winter germinating weeds, the September pre-emergent application is very important. I have elm trees in my yard. The variety of elm that I have is prolific at putting out seeds in the fall. The pre-emergent for controlling lawn weeds does not stop the growth of the elm seedlings. So during the fall, I bag the tree leaves so that I can vacuum up the elm seeds that are scattered throughout the lawn. If I didn't bag the leaves and the elm seeds each fall, during the spring, my lawn will be loaded with sprouting elm trees that I have to pull by hand. I've quickly taken you through how I take care of my lawn throughout the year. You can use this as a guide to prepare for this year's mowing season. Have your lawn equipment ready to go because the spring mowing season is almost here. Do your shopping for the fertilizer and weed control that you plan to use on your lawn. While the weed control chemicals are effective, there are always a few weeds that are still going to show up in the lawn. When that happens in my lawn, I simply pull them by hand. Enjoy the upcoming season. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.